today's topic is problem solving. In order to solve the problems, we are going to look at the steps. Okay, the first steps we are going to understand and interpret the problem. Second step, plan a solving strategy. The third step, carry out the strategy. And the last one, check the answer. We are going to read, understand and interpret the problem. Okay class, everybody turn to page 22, textbook, question 1. Julie's and Stacy's computer games course. Here there are two pictures. Julie's game score is 2,605. Meanwhile, Stacy's game score is 2,790. So the question for A, which digit has the same value? Question for B, whose score is smaller? Explain. Okay, we are going to look at the answer. What are the methods used in order to solve the problems? Okay, number one, we are going to arrange the digits according to the place values. We are going to draw a table. Then we are going to write thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. Next step, we are going to write down the numbers 2605, 2719. Next step, we are going to compare because we are going to answer which digit has the same value. The first number, we are going to compare with 1000 place. So we look here. Julie score 2000 and Stacy score also 2000. Here two same. This number 600 and 700, 0, 10 and 1, 10, 5, 1 and 9, 1. So the answer, the digit with the same value is 2. The answer is 2. Okay, now the next question. Whose score is smaller? Okay, look again at the place value in A. So the place value in A, okay, 600 is smaller than 700. So 600 is smaller than 700. Again, so 2605 is smaller than 2719. The answer is Julie's score is smaller because this is Julie's score 2605. Okay, we look at the box here. What is the answer? The two numbers above will become 3000 when rounded off to the nearest what? What are the numbers? Okay, the answer is here. 2605 when we rounded we will it will become 3000 rounded to the nearest thousand the answer is 3000 another number when we rounded is 2719 rounded off to the nearest thousand we will get 3000 textbook page 23 question number 2 below are the positions of several shillings ok remember the steps understand and interpret the problem plan a solving strategy for these types of question the strategy is identifying the pattern ok we read the sentence the yellow shelly is the first shelly. This is the yellow shelly. The number is 1302. The purple shelly is the sixth shelly. 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six. This is the sixth shelly, the purple shelly. So the question, what is the number of the purple shelly? Okay, you are going to find out what is the number of the purple shelly. How to answer? Okay, we look at the method. Look for a pattern. For this type of question, we are going to look at the pattern. The first number is 1302. The next number is 1304. So, what is the difference? Okay, the difference is add 2. Each number will add 2. 2 plus 2, the answer is 1304. Add another more 2. 1306 plus 2, 1308 plus 2, 1310. In the last answer, plus 2, 1312. So the purple is 1312. Okay, the number of the purple shade is 1312. Okay, this is the answer. Each number you add with 2. Count on in 2. Until you get the last answer is 1312. So, the next question. State the number written above. Okay, what is the number pattern for this question? Ascending or descending order? Okay, we look at the first number, 1302. And the last number is 1312. The number is ascending. The smallest number to the largest number. Ascending order, small to big. So, the number pattern above is ascending order. Okay boys, look at this question. Okay, we use the same method identifying the pattern. Okay, the last shelly is the 10th shelly. The shelly number 1314 is the fourth shelly when arranged in ascending order. Explain. Okay, how we are going to answer? This is the key. Okay, the keyword is 1314 is in the fourth shelly. So, descending order. Descending order, we are going to start from the big numbers and the last one, small numbers. Largest to the smallest number. So, the fourth number, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, this is the fourth number. We are going to write 1,314. How to get this answer? Okay, how to get this answer? When descending order, okay, we need to... This one is the largest. So, we have this key number here. We plus 2. Plus 2. The answer is 1,360 plus 2, 1,380 plus 2, 1,320. Again, check the answer. Descending order, minus 2. Okay, count back in 2. Minus 2. Okay, you get this answer. 1,380 minus 2, 1,316. Minus 2, 1,314. Okay, subtract 2, 1,312. Okay, minus 2, 1,310. Less another 2, 1,308. Minus 2, 1,306. Minus 2, 1,304. Minus 2, last smallest number is... 1302 Okay This is how you answer in descending order Okay, textbook page 24 Okay Question 3 
Okay, for this type of question, we use backward strategy, working backwards. Okay, we read the question. Based on the conversation above, what is the possible number of audience? Okay, we read the dialogue. What was the total number of audience in yesterday's charity show? Okay, next one. When rounded off to the nearest 10, the total number of audience became 1,500. So, the question, what is the possible number of audience? Okay, how to answer this type of this type of question? Okay, the method. The method we use working backward. First step, we draw the number line. Okay, we draw the number line, and then we find important information from the picture. Okay, what are the keyword? The keyword here is one thousand and five hundred. So, you write down 1,500 in the middle or in the center of the number line. And the next keyword is nearest 10. Nearest 10. So, each number, okay, we divide equally with 5. So, here we minus 5. Minus 5, 1,495. Minus 5, come back with 5, 1,490. Okay, this side also the same, 1,505 plus 5, 1,510. Okay, we look at this number. What are the possible number when we round it off? We will get 1,500. So, the nearest is 1,495. 1,496, 1,497, 1498, 1499. Okay, this is the possible number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, the next one. 1501, 1502, 1503, and 1504. Okay, backward. Okay, we will get 1,500. Rounded off to the nearest 10, it will became 1,500. Okay, what about this number? 1,505. Rounded to the nearest 10. Okay, the answer is 1,510. Okay, this is the nearest number for this number. For this number, the nearest number is... 1510 okay but for 1500 the possible number is 1495 to 1499 1501 to 1504 okay when rounded off to the nearest 10 becomes 1500 Okay, repeat again the answer. The possible number of audience is 1,495 to 1,499 and 1,501 to 1,504. Okay, between this range, between this range. Okay, next. The number of audience on the next day is 1,520. Round off the number to the nearest thousand. Okay, how to answer this question? Okay, first step, we underline thousand place. And then, you circle the hundred place. Okay, circle. Then, you check hundred place is five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine is more. When the number is more, you plus with one. Okay. Number is more, remember plus with 1 in the thousand place. 1 plus 1, answer is 2. Okay, the other number will remain 0, 0, 0 because we are going to round the nearest thousand. So the answer is 2,000. Why 2,000? Because 100 place is 5. 5 is more. When 5 is more, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 
you need to add 1 in the thousand place. Add 1. Okay, add 1. 1 plus 1 is 2000. So, the answer is 2000.